Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Welcome to the fourth episode from the Gems from the Quran. We stopped our last episode mentioning the verse from the Quran by saying, وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبْعًا shidada." That Allah Almighty is saying that He, Allah Almighty created above you seven the strong ones. What is these strong ones? These skies. Amazingly, I was saying in last episode that with all the technology and the science and the advanced science that we have, we didn't even reach to the first sky. With all these rockets, with all these uh, things that we are having and these uh, superpower lights and lasers and everything, we didn't reach to the first heaven, to the first sky. And be below this sky, we have all these galaxies and the sun and the moon and everything. What about Allah Almighty saying that above you, Allah Almighty, the Creator, He created seven heavens and they are the strong ones. Not only that, it says in an authentic narration that the width only, the width from one sky to another, it's going and flying or traveling for 500 years. Can you imagine? A person with a speed light traveling for 500 years and he will cross from one heaven to the another one. He will need another 500 years of whatever speed or the light or whatsoever you call it in this time. He will need 500 years to reach from the second to the third sky. Another he will take 500 years to reach from the third till fourth, from fourth till five, from five till six, from the sixth till seven. Each one 500 years. Amazing. Subhanallah. That you will take all this time to reach and finish. And who will live for all these 500 plus 500 plus 500 years? So Allah Almighty, the Creator, is telling us, is telling the non-believers, is, He is telling at this time to the agnostics and the atheists and all these people that it's still, you didn't reach to the first sky. Allah Almighty, the Creator, He created seven strong skies above you. And then he said what? وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَهَاجًا And he made for us a burning lamp. Talking about the sun. He called it here, سِرَاجًا وَهَاجًا, a burning lamp. As you know, if you have a lamp, and I'm talking about the old lamp, that you have a lamp and you're holding it, and this lamp is made of glass, and inside the glass, there is what? There is a light. And this light is coming out from this glass. So Allah Almighty described the sun as it's a glass, round shape, and the light is coming from it. But it's what? Siraj and Wahaja, it's a burning light. That light that no one can control except the Creator, God Almighty. So He is telling that this amazing ball that is full of fire, the sun, and it's, it's spreading all this heat and fire and all these gases, who created it? Allah Almighty. So still these non-believers, they are denying Allah Almighty. And He is now what? Only telling the things that He created, as we mentioned at the beginning. So He reached telling people that I made night and day and I made this and that. And He came all the way by telling the people, I made this burning lamp, the sun. And then He what? He said, وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَاءً ثَجَّاجًا And we sent down from the skies and from these clouds a pouring water, which means rain. Who can control the cloud? Who can put the water inside the cloud? Who can make this cloud send this water and pour it in, a, in a, whatever speed it's coming from? except Allah Almighty, except one God. So he is keep telling that, come on, can we bring a something like a fluffy, something light and put water in it and can move it left and right on the sky? No way. In order to know more about this verse and the coming verses, 
we have to just take a short break. So stay with us until I see you back. Welcome back, dear viewers. We just spoke about a wonderful verse that Allah Almighty said, وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَاءً ثَجَّاجًا We sent from sky, from these clouds, water, not only that, pouring water. And I was just saying, can you imagine that you are having this kind of thing, that you have something very light, like a cloud, and then you put inside this cloud water, and then you move this cloud wherever you want, no one can do that except Allah Almighty, except the Creator. So this is again, He is telling us, He is telling Muslims and non-Muslims and the disbelievers at the time of Prophet Muhammad, even at this time, those who are denying the word of Allah, those who are denying the majesty of Allah, those who are denying the messages of Allah, and those who are denying the Prophet of Allah, the power of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that they are not believing in all this. This is the message. Just wake up and look into these verses. Then Allah Almighty said what? لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا So just before he, what he said, that he is sending down from this cloud, pouring water. And as a result, what will happen? لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا So from this water, when it will come down and it will fall on the floor, on the grass or on the sand or on the earth, لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا From it, what will come out? The grain. What will come out of it? Vegetable. Fruits. So can you imagine that Allah Almighty, the God Almighty, just think about it. We got used to just go and grab and eat and that's it. No, just think how it happened. Allah Almighty sent down all this cloud, having the rain. This rain is showering the water, pouring the water into this earth. This earth, the same earth, one is giving you green vegetable, the other one is giving you red vegetable, the other one is giving you yellow fruit. It's the same earth. Who is functioning all this? Allah Almighty, the Creator. So He is again telling us from the same verse, from the same chapter, He is keep reminding us that Allah Almighty, He is doing all these things. Come on, wake up. Then what He said, لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا So from this water that Allah Almighty will take out the uh, vegetables and He will take the grains. وَجَنَّاتٍ أَلْفَافًا And from this rain and from this fruit and from this garden or from this uh, vegetables, what He will make? He will make gardens around you, surrounding you. جَنَّاتٍ أَلْفَافًا That jannat means the gardens, the beautiful gardens that you can see around you. And you can feel this joy fullness or joyness that whenever you go inside this any park or any garden and you see everything the trees around you you will feel happiness that's why he called it jannat and also the paradise he called it jannah a paradise so allah almighty gave you all these favors and then he is telling us that you are denying all these favors and you are not going back to allah you are denying the Creator. You are denying the messenger of this Creator. You are denying the messages of this Creator. Then what happened? Something serious happened. After telling all these things, what happened? Allah Almighty, the Creator, He changed His way of talking. Because just now, we went through some of the previous verses that He's telling about the favors. He did this and He did this and He did that. What He did here? He said, Inna yawm al the day of judgment is on time. He is just now talking about the, all the favors. What does this happen? He is telling these non-believers and non-Muslims and, and those who are denying the Allah and the Creator. He's saying, hello, I'm telling you all this, but I'm letting you know, inna yawm al-fasli kana miqata. The day of judgment is on time. It will come. So be prepared for it. Then he said, يَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ فَتَأْتُونَ أَفْوَاجًا Now he changed his tone and he becomes serious, Allah Almighty, and he starts telling what will happen and the horrible things that will happen on the Day of Judgment. 
in order to know this scary statement coming from the Creator, we have to stop here because of the time and stay tuned with us until the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.